Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Harley and I am obsessed with all things Trader Joe's. It is a new year. It is 2023. January is a slow time at the store. As you know, there's only a couple new things here and there every week. It's not like it was during the holidays, but that doesn't mean that there's still not some good stuff to find. And I'm gonna show you what we enjoy. So please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Click that like button and stay tuned because here we go with January's Trader Joe's haul. Brand new item at Trader Joe's in the freezer section is this rigatoni with asparagus, broccoli, and green peas in a creamy sauce. It is not a vegetarian item but it does definitely look delicious. Here is a shot of the nutrition. Here are a shot of your ingredients. It's a super simple stovetop skillet meal or you can make it in the microwave and it looks delicious. So go ahead and score that in your freezer section where you have all your pastas. Surprise, this came back. I was super surprised to see the French onion macaroni and cheese, but I will take it. Um, it is huge, it is an 18 ounce container. It is more than enough for two people. Um, it is a two and a half serving per this container. Again, a shot of the back. I love it, I can't eat the whole thing. Um, it's way too much, but it pairs well as a side and Randomly it just popped back into the store. So I'll take it. So ordinarily I get so excited I don't get to try the new items Before I show them to you, but this one we have eaten and I can tell you it is delicious This is a frozen item. It's the tomato and red onion focaccia you can find it where the pizza area is. Here's a shot of the back. It was super simple to make. Um, it was a 425 oven for like, I think we did 12 minutes. Um, it's like a pizza without the cheese, but it is very good. The tomatoes do get a little runny. Um, so you're gonna wanna let this set up for a minute before you eat it. But the box was too big for my freezer. We didn't have that much room, so we had to eat it. Um, that's the other thing. Box is big, so make sure you have room in your freezer for it. A brand new item that I haven't seen going around Instagram yet is this ricotta ravioli. Um, it is for, obviously, Valentine's Day. It's in the shape of a heart. And look at how adorable this is. I mean, this is just perfect for that loved one if you're cooking dinner. Um, it is where all of the fresh pastas are in the refrigerator section. It is three servings in here and there are a ton of ingredients. So if you are thinking about cooking dinner or you want something for an anniversary or a special occasion, you can pick this up. You can always freeze it before the best buy date and make that at any time. It shows someone that you really care and you love them. And honestly, um, during the week if you're doing Valentine's Day, this is super easy to make after work and you, all you have to do is boil water, uh, figure out what kind of sauce you wanna pair with it. You can put it with some salad, vegetables, and you have a perfect dinner. Also new, is the mini gnocchi that are tri-colored, which we thought was just adorable. We haven't tried it yet. It's been around for maybe two or three weeks, and uh, I can't wait to have this. So it is a 14 ounce container. As you can see, there are three different colors in it. Here is a shot of your nutrition and ingredients. Everything looks super delicious in here. Um, it is made in a facility that processes um, dairy and soy, so it does have that warning on it. One of my favorite, favorite things that Trader Joe's still has this time of year is the holiday vegetable hash, 
which cooks up super great for a soup. We usually do a little bit of coconut milk or cream with it and homemade vegetable stock because we are vegetarian in the house. Um, it's also great to throw into your omelets in the morning. It's got all these veggies. I've shown it before. Here's a quick shot of the back. We love it. We can still get it at our Trader Joe's, and if you can, I highly recommend it. Um, it makes a wonderful soup, as I said, and then you can freeze your soup and have it all winter long. So let's talk a little bit about Valentine's Day. They have a red and a pink um, cachet of milk and dark and white chocolates, which is just super cute. If you're needing one of these for that favorite someone, special person, go ahead and score these while you can. There's two chocolates per serving. So there's 14 chocolates in each box. Also, the Belgian ones, if you don't want to buy something as big. These little chocolate hearts, and I did open it because I was going to eat them, but then I thought, well, I'll wait and show them. These little chocolate hearts are so cute. Here is a shot of the nutrition. These little hearts are so adorable. Here's your ingredients. And of course, the gummies. There are soft and chewy gummy candies in the shape of X's and O's. They always come out with seasonally themed gummies. So if you have someone that likes gummies, these are a great gift. Here's the nutrition as well as the ingredients. Nothing really shocking here. Sugar mixed with sugar and dyes. Soup, new soup alert. The Italian style wedding soup that is shelf stable is available at Trader Joe's right next to their vegetable soup, which we also really enjoy their garden vegetable. We keep them on our pantry shelves just in case we don't feel well or it's just really bad weather and we haven't gotten to the store. We can make this and um, it's just delicious. This is obviously not vegetarian. So here are the nutrition facts and ingredients. Just to point out a few things, the sodium for the whole jar is 1210 milligrams per serving is 480 milligrams and a cup is a serving size. There are two and a half cups in this delicious container so I just wanted to point that out because I know sometimes the jar and the canned soups have an enormous amount of sodium and that is a lot but there are a lot worse out there for you as well. Pair that with some super seedy cheese snack bites with puffed quinoa and whole peppercorns. These are also uh, relatively new to Trader Joe's. Here is a shot of the back. Seven pieces is a serving. Here is your ingredient list as well. Pretty good, pretty good. I do feel better when I show a bunch of healthy stuff in a row. This is the Riced Hearts of Palm. I think they used to have the like Pasta Hearts of Palm. I haven't seen that in a while. This is what's out now. It's, it's mimicking rice, but it's made from Hearts of Palm. Three servings are in the container. Here is a shot of the back. It just has Hearts of Palm, one ingredient. And it is a five minute um, stove top cook time. So that's not terrible. You can also put it in the microwave. Double chocolate wafer cookies. The cocoa wafers with a chocolate cream and hint of hazelnut has arrived at the store. Adorable packaging as always, Trader Joe's. It's a little hard to see. Um, here's a shot of the ingredients as well 
as your nutrition. There are eight servings in here, 150 calories for seven cookies. That's a serving size. And here is the rest of it. So it's a cute little treat. It's got this resealable um, tape, piece of tape here. I haven't opened it yet. Two new seasonings, which I gotta say, I'm surprised that they didn't come out for the holidays. That being said, they're here now. There's a ketchup flavored sprinkle seasoning blend, which I have absolutely no idea what I'm gonna do other than put it on an egg, maybe on a burger if I'm making it, but I don't know. Here is a shot of the nutrition. So there's not much going on here. Here is a shot of the ingredients. So it says to put it on potatoes, eggs, meats. I, I'm not really sure how I'm going to use that. And then they have the pizza sprinkle seasoning blend which i also find to be a little odd but i'll take it i missed the ve vegan chickenless one hopefully they'll bring that back one day so uh again it doesn't really have much in it this one does have a little bit of sodium in it so it's like pizza in a um jar i'm not really sure what you would want to put pizza sprinkling on it's not like it's the stuff that you would top your pizza with but if you want your vegetables or something to taste like pizza for your kids or whatever i guess you would use that so we got them we'll try them i'm i'm a little skeptical i think they can do better on their seasonings but they are fun and they are here now so the baking items at trader joe's a lot of them are seasonal i picked up these mini milk chocolate peanut butter cups uh, before they disappeared for some baking this winter. Who doesn't like peanut butter cups in a cookie or a sweet treat or even a pancake? For some reason, I don't use these over the holidays, but I do like them in the winter time, especially as the snow season is coming. Here's a shot of the um, back. So there's some good deals that are to be had. They may have dropped the price just a tad on this. I'm not 100% because I didn't buy it, like I said, during um, the season, but I did buy it now. Uh, also, the mini chocolate hazelnut biscottis are in. These are a soft mini biscotti. We enjoy them. They're good till September, so again, um, I think we're eating our pumpkin ones right now. It's not something that has to be eaten right away, which I like. Here is a shot of the nutrition along with the ingredients. And of course, the last item, which is new within the last week, is this co-wash um, shampoo and conditioning uh, in one little bottle it's eight ounces so i would not recommend this if you have color treated hair i have not tried it yet it is really not for me but this is something great if you're going on like a weekend trip and you just want to throw something in your bag to use and you don't want to bring like a shampoo and a conditioner um this is grapefruit and mint this is great for the guys if you need a little bit of moisture and here is a shot of all of the things that are in it it's a lot of ingredients and it's really teeny tiny writing um but yeah so it tells you how to shampoo your hair but i mean it's obvious how to do that so um for the kiddos for the guys, I think this is great every now and again, or like I said, um, that weekend trip and you both want to use like one bottle, this is perfect. If you have a wedding to go to and you're staying overnight and you want to wash your hair in the morning before you leave, this is perfect, I think. So I look forward to trying it. Love grapefruit and mint. Interesting combo. And there is the haul for January. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. And as always, I will see you next month when we unpack all the great things that February has to offer.